Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising monthly tarot reading for January 2019 <clears throat> and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling uh, I want to remind you once again that that will be a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and therefore as uh, every person is um, with their differences in their situations uh, this reading will resonate in a different level for every single one of you. <clears throat> so, for that reason, uh, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But at the end, um, you might have to do some um, work there in order to make sense of it and to align them to your personal uh, situation. Now, um, if you want your personal situation to be discussed or to be analyzed just like I'm doing for the examples in these videos with a card drawn specifically for it then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video <clears throat> and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and don't forget that until the end of December there is a promotion going on uh, which basically it makes that the prices for the uh, 20 and the 30 minute live reading with me are with reduced costs so I will just spray the cards a little bit so we do have more room to work with as this is going to be as well a uh, enhanced tarot reading <clears throat> I'll just place the deck over here so that will be an enhanced reading and what the enhanced reading means is that we're going to use multiple cards per position so uh, this is the general reading here we do have the ace of swords as a um, core of the situation or what will be the topic for January for you cancers then we do have the four of swords which is the intentions that you should obtain or adopt throughout this month followed by the five of pentacles which is the challenges that you need to overcome six of wands it is the um, guidance that Taro is offering to you and the last one that will be the lover's card which is the final outcome so for what it seems here just on the overview of the cards that is going to be a, a month the january is going to be a, a month where you are to uh, obtain information in general as the ace of swords and the four of swords are taking the two prime positions but let's draw one additional card for the ace of swords and we do have the two of swords here falling so what that means Means is that probably at the start of the month or somewhere along the very first week of it there will be a, a matters and a situations in general either career or relationship wise which are going to baffle you quite a lot and the um, the situation could be as dramatic as for example should you, should I leave my relationship or should I proceed forward with it should I start searching for another job or should I stay in this particular job now the reason for that is going to be the two of uh, the two of sorts here and that card points to uh, maintaining a, a precious equilibrium so that particular month for you it's going to be a month where you will have to find or think about a, a way how you can uh, how a an equilibrium or a balance into these situations can be maintained and if cannot be maintained then obviously you cancer need to move along with a, a new enterprise or with a new beginning but again is going to differentiate for every single one of you what is going to be the final outcome from that now <clears throat> Uh, here it is very important with these couple of weeks that you actually raise the matter uh, up front. What I mean is that you should not give it a, a silent treatment uh, for any reason, but instead you should start talking about it. For example, if you are feeling or kind of like if you are seeing, you know, that uh, you are, how can I place it, feeling very awkward into your, uh, into your career and... Uh, you think that you do deserve uh, let's say a promotion or an appreciation you know in general 
but you are not receiving it, then you have to start talking about it with the people that are actually uh, capable of giving what you think you deserve. That is very important here as well. If, if this is about negotiating a, a new proposition or negotiating a new contract, you have to be very careful about that because the two of sorts, again, it requires equilibrium. So you cannot ask for more than actually this company or that person can give you, all right? I mean, you have to settle on a, a common ground here. Same goes with your relationship. Uh, <clears throat> this could be where you realize, you know, that you and your partner are actually not equal into that relationship for one or another reason. And this month is going to be a month where you and that person are going to talk about how that equilibrium or how this balance can be maintained. Very important in that particular case here is that you kind of uh, be able to put to uh, place yourself into the other person's shoes because with these cards especially with that combo it's before you decide what to do from now on should you break it or make it you have to as well consider all points of view which comes here with the second card that it is the four of swords accompanied with d8 of pentacles not a very good synergy <clears throat> and i will tell you why now the eight of pentacles it is a card pointing that you should uh how can i place it you should go for the optimum of the situation for the optimal uh, result of the situation for yourself but as we said this is a, about equilibrium this is about making compromises with yourself and as well the other side either a situation or either a, a person has to make a compromise with you as well that's why the four of swords here is all about re regarding all about those conversations or negotiations that could involve as well some sort of a therapist or it could, it could involve as well as some sort of a a counselor for example if it is about business you know this is you consulting or this need to be your intentions here what you should do from now on uh, it's consulting yourself with someone who has more experience than you do and someone who actually is not um, emotionally connected to that situation so they can give you a an objective opinion and as well and an objective planning of how things are possible to move on from now same goes for relationship you know let's say you struggle into your relationship due to the realization that it is not a balanced one you know for example you do much more than you're actually getting from that relationship well these cards here points that you should start consulting yourself with either a couples therapist you know or basically raise the matter in front of a friends which are close to the relationship and etc etc which are be which will be actually capable to give you a, a balanced accurate diagnosis or rather like a standpoint how you know how things would work out and from there you are going to decide for yourself again that is going to be entirely based on your decision because at the end we do have the lover's card which is a point of a major choice that you will have to make but we're going to go there in a minute you know so you will have to decide for yourself what work best for you but again in order to make the optimal decision here you should not be selfish uh, selfish but rather selfless all right where you are completely willing to make a compromise for the common good and that will not be um, that will not come of a surprise uh, for you cancers because the next card that we do have these are the challenges that are causing predicaments and we do have the five of pentacles with the strength card so this here we are talking of a, a point where just that will be the last drop in the cup that will be the piece of the cake so what we do have here are problems that were staying back in the past you know and they were just just lingering out there uh, and uh, I don't know how really to explain it in English but more like they were left unattended because they did not uh, made that much of a, a relevance back in the time but you know these kind of thing uh, this this thing kind of build up and build up and build up while at this particular moment in January the bubble just burst and now these particular issues has to be um, basically addressed now the thing with this card 
you know, that on its own, every single one of these issues or every single one of these predicaments are not going to be a big deal, you know. But the fact that we do have the strength here with the Five of Pentacles, it does point that there are many of them. They, they, they reside in every single situation, let's say with your partner or with your career. For example, you may have co-workers into your career that are really giving you a hard time but if and there are many of them all right every single one of them for that matter is giving you a hard time that just for example and if it if it was just say a couple of co-workers that wouldn't be a big deal but now as, as almost everybody there is giving you a hard time and they are kind of jeopardizing your work now that cannot stay the same way so that will be the piece of the cake and you are raising that uh, specific matter in front of your boss uh, demanding for a a solution where equilibrium or balance can be maintained in between you and your co-workers so in other words you are asking for your supervisor or your boss to draw a, a clean a clean line which one has which kind of responsibilities there and etc etc now very important when we do have these couple of card cancers is that you have to be more uh, tamed when you address those issues you should not allow your temper to get the best of you because tempering uh, through these predicaments uh, you are going to make more um, more harm than uh, than good to yourself because especially if people are uh, involved they will start thinking that actually the resolution that you are achieving at the end it, it is depriving them from their personal rights as well so even though uh, your problems at the time being could be resolved with the help of your boss or with the help of your supervisor they will again re-emerge in the future when we go into february or even march so it's very important to really kill the aggression here with kindness it's basically do not escalate the issues but just bring them forth to those who are actually with a position to resolve them on top of that we do have the guidance card which is the six of uh, wands with the ten of pentacles and that is about the selflessness here so the more you give the more you're gonna take out from it and these cards here are pointing that in order to uh well you can you can go both ways actually with those couple of cards now the first and the most important inter interpretation is that you can um, you can expect a, a grand achievement or a peak experience only if you make peace with those whom situation also depend from for example you're working into one project with a couple of people as well while the uh, the communication and the relationship which you and those people were not very ideal all right you have to sacrifice your personal standpoints here uh, of personal opinion for the sake of the project itself in case you do want the project to become successful so what we do have with these cards is sacrificing a bit of personal independence and a, and a bit of a personal sovereignty so you can uh, you can reach a, a significant milestone with your development either career wise or either relationship wise <clears throat> and to move on from there to the very peak of the goal or to the crest of the goal where you are most likely are going to finalize that important relationship activity or a project in general now these cards as well are pointing that should you be able to make a compromise as well you know or in other words invest in the right place your emotional state and as well uh, you know your your performance either because performance wise is also investment like time skills knowledge and etc etc a uh, reaching that important milestone or success into a uh, partial success into your projects from which you can use it as a uh, project and undertakings into your career for the uh, into your relationship for that matter that you can use it for a foundation uh, is ultimately going to be achieved for that throughout the month of january and from there actually no one can take away what you have worked for again you should not be unyielding and stubborn you know but for that matter uh, also it's not even about succumbing to someone else's uh, 
uh, how can I place a standpoint and opinion but more like finding a, a common ground with the rest of the opinion so uh, these here cards again all of them are pointing that all the problems comes from the ignorance of each party not just you cancers but from each party uh, uh, thinking that their uh, their position their standpoint and their opinion are mandatory and the most important thing of all and everybody else is completely wrong about uh, how you know one relationship or one career should be proceed and from there the problems are start occurring here displayed with the five of pentacles those small predicaments which are building up one over another one on top on, of uh, on another and from there at the end at the month of january not at the end of month of january but throughout the month of january they will simply become unbearable amount and the last card that we do have, this is going to be the Lover's card, which is the final outcome with the Seven of Cups. Actually, this is a very good um, combination because the, the Lover's card through Elemental Dignity is completely negates the effect of the Seven of Cups, the bad effect of the Seven of Cups. And it does point that the more the, pa the, the month passes through or the more you go along through the month, the more obvious the right decision for you, what you should do either into your career or either into your relationship will become more obvious and obvious. And at the end, uh, the lovers always, uh, when we take it as a choice, it does stand for uh, what you want to do against what you should do. And there, again, it will depend entirely upon your personal situation, how you will have to take on this decision. The, uh, the example that you many of you, if you are following my videos, are hear, hearing me to, to give about that card, is about a person having to, to choose in between a couple of jobs. One of the job is um, very well paid, but in the same time annoying to, uh, to be performed. The other one is very thrilling to be performed but in the same time is not that well paid and so it depends what your position is going to be if you have family to feed obviously you gotta get the job that it is well paid if you are single and the finances are not the issue here you should go with the one that it is actually thrilling to be performed so uh, at the end of the month we do have you here being much more grounded at the, at the start many things are now making sense for you you can explain yourself at the situation with your career and the situation with your relationship and you will very well know what will be the pros and cons if you get one part over another and there at that specific verge or at that specific crest of your cycle of development you will have to decide uh, should you make a decision in favor of those around you or should you make a decision in favor of you well what that decision is going to be all about again it depends on your personal situation but at the end you need to know that there is not that there isn't a, a wrong or a uh, a right decision what is here um uh what are the criteria or what are the consequences of the uh, lover's card or what is what are the properties there is that you will have to take responsibility for the for the part or for the decision that you did not take that you haven't taken the thing with the seven of cups falling here as a water with fire card and as a secondary one it points that everything will be clear to you there won't be a information missing nor you are going to be deceived in one way or another so you will have everything that it is required as a uh, information, as an insight, and etc., etc. So you can make, you know, your move or your next decision entering into the month of February. So that being said, cancers, this was your um, monthly tarot reading for January 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, um, <clears throat> this was a, a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and therefore is going to resonate differently with every single one of you. Now, if you want your personal situation to be just like the examples in this video and cards drawn for it, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now.
see you next time. Bye.